All right, guys, welcome back. It has been a while since I posted. Uh, I'm pretty slacking on YouTube lately. Sorry, guys, but I wanted to catch you up on what's going on. So what you're seeing here is weeks four and five. The plant was looking really good uh, because it's an auto flower. It did start showing signs of budding around week five or so, but it did also start showing some deficiencies going on in the leaves. So actually I was cool. I live in a city where, you know, cannabis is pretty cool. So I brought these leaves to a gardening center and they told me, you know, they thought it was something having to do with nutrients, obviously. Up until that point, I was only feeding the plant CalMag in addition to a very basic uh, fertilizer made for flowering. But what was actually going on was not nutrient related. It was actually something way worse. It was bugs. Oh guys, it's my first grow, so I have to keep it real with you guys and document everything. But what I had going on after research is root aphids. So what was going on is they're attacking my root system and sucking out nutrients, and that was causing the deficiencies that I was seeing in my leaves. Uh, thankfully, it didn't really make it over to the right plant, although there were some bugs in there. Um, I did a lot of research. I realized I was not keeping my grow tent, you know, very sanitized, which I should have been. I also researched on what I needed to buy to get rid of these bugs. So I found SNS 203. Uh, I wanted to keep it completely organic and natural. I didn't want to use any sort of harsh pesticides. Uh, what I did with this stuff is you mix it in with ph water. So I got four gallons of distilled water, added, you know, the amount that it said on the side of the bottle, and then pH'd my water to about 6.5 and then I bought these uh, larger buckets, these like seven gallon buckets, and put my entire you know, plant in there and then actually drenched the roots, filled the entire bucket, let it sit for about 15 minutes on each plant, completely submerged in the root system in the solution that I made. While it was sitting in there, I decided, okay, well, obviously I need to sanitize and clean my grow space. So I just used some basic Lysol and some basic common sense cleanliness and cleaned everything in there. Uh, I took the Legos out, I took uh, anything that, you know, might be causing the problem out of there and made it nice and, you know, clean and ready for the plants to come back in. I also decided that I wanted to make sure that I was doing nutrients correctly. So I bought this whole grow system, uh, you know, fertilizer system from Fox Farms called the Dirty Dozen. And what I really liked about it was it was a complete system from seedling all the way up to harvest of what, you know, nutrients that you need. It was really broken down really well. It came with, you know, a ton of different nutrients that were all organic. Again, I was trying to keep my, my whole thing completely organic and I figured why not? This could be, you know, make things really easy for a newbie like me. What I really loved about it is that it came with a week by week exact, exact, you know, what you need to be doing. Uh, during this entire time for the past couple weeks, I've been spraying the solution and zapping those bugs, man. Every couple days, well, every day actually, a couple times a day, I would spray the sides of my fabric pots with the solution. It's mainly clove oil and rosemary, so it smells a little funky. Um, while I was also doing that, I was also figured, well, even though my plants are in week seven and eight at this point, I might as well start the Fox Farm um, you know, fertilizer system. So I did start really slow. Low. I actually started with only half of what they recommended because I didn't want to shock my plants. Uh, so after a week or so, guys, I have to be honest, my plants showed a huge, huge beneficial change. They started producing a ton of resin. They started looking way, way thicker, the buds itself. My leaves uh, were showing way less signs of any sort of deficiencies and the, the plants in general were looking just amazing. The main good news is the bugs are gone. I'd say maybe 90 to 95% gone. So things are looking great guys. Uh, it worked and I feel really, really good about things moving forward. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to uh, smash all those buttons and follow, subscribe, do all that stuff and check out my other social media. Thanks for watching guys. See you next week.